our local grocery store. Let's go inside and see what we can learn today. Today we're going to take a look at some condiments, some popular condiments that everybody buys, like salad dressings and ketchup and mayonnaise and things like that. Mayonnaise isn't the worst thing in the world, but there is soybean oil is our second ingredient in there. We're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Soy is a GMO food unless it says otherwise. So it does not say non-GMO. I'm gonna put it back right now. Let's look at an organic one. Organic soybean oil. Okay, we're a little bit better, aren't we? Water, whole, whole eggs, vinegar. These are all things I can pronounce. Not bad. It looks like the organic version is gonna be your better version. There is a mayonnaise that I really like, and I don't see it here. We're gonna look for it again in, in another section. Yeah. Mustard is fine. I'm sure we can find some healthy mustards. But what about ketchup? Ketchup? Um, let's look at a regular ketchup, right? This is what most homes in America have, your Heinz tomato ketchup. Let's see what's in it. Tomato concentrate from red ripe tomatoes, yummy. Distilled vinegar, high fructose corn syrup. What is that doing in my ketchup? Yeah, no, no thank you. High fructose corn syrup. It's gonna clog our liver. Give us fatty liver, we don't want that. Let's see if they take that out when we do the organic. Organic tomato concentrate. Distilled organic cane syrup. So they put organic cane syrup in place of the high fructose corn syrup in their organic ketchup. This is going to be a better choice. About this one, it um, says no high fructose corn syrup. This one says no high fructose corn syrup too, but it probably replaced it with sugar also. I don't really see the tiny ingredients. ingredients right oh, here they are. Can you read them? Tomato concentrate made from fresh ripe tomatoes, sugar, distilled vinegar, salt onion powder, spices, and natural flavor. I, I kind of like the organic one better because it used organic cane sugar. Uh, sugar beets are also an organic food. Yeah, so I, I, I like this better for quality. Um, but I gotta tell you what I really, really like um, is just a tomato paste. A basic tomato paste can take the place of ketchup and be, um, be a great choice. Okay. The last section here is going to be a lot of different condiments and hot sauces and things that you can put on your food. When we get into barbecue sauces, look yeah. for the sugar content. That's what I want to look at. 10 grams of sugar in two tablespoons, you guys. Do I really want to waste my sugar hidden in barbecue sauce? No, absolutely not. So be really careful with things like this that go on your food. This is where a lot of things add up in your diet that you don't realize. Now we're going to look at some barbecue sauces and other condiments in the health food section. In this store they keep a health food section separate but at some stores it's mixed in. Um, these are all supposedly healthy and, and honestly you know the ingredients are great. You can you can understand what you're reading. They're all real words. If it's soy it's organic. Um, you're still going to find, though, six grams of sugar in two tablespoons, okay? So there's still going to be some sugar. This one has a gavi. Gavi's like a high fructose corn syrup. People think it's healthier, but it's not necessarily healthier. So if you're going to use a barbecue sauce, keep in mind, it's part of your sugar allotment for the day. Try to stick with one of the natural ones that you find in the health food section. Or you can use my homemade recipe. I have a homemade recipe to make your own. So you're gonna cut out a lot of these unnecessary sugars making your own. Um, they have some good organic ketchups here and some ketchups again without um, any sugar or add or unnecessary, unnecessary corn syrup, let's put it that way. They do have a little sugar in them. Um, mayonnaise, you're gonna find a more natural mayo in this section again there's not going to be a lot of garbage in them they're going to be foods that you understand anything that should be organic like a soy is organic um or it shouldn't be in this section there is one if they don't have it here but there's a mayo called just mayo and it's in capital letters just mayo there's a fake company j-u-s-t that is not the same you want 
you want it to say just mayo across the front. That's a really good choice for a mayonnaise. Yeah, I could eat a whole bottle. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could eat a whole bottle too. <laughs> So we're in the regular section here, and um, let's, let's see what looks healthy. What do you think, Benita? This one here says that it's um, sugar-free. Yeah, that should be good, right? Balsamic sugar-free. Oh, wait, look. It's got mm. Splenda. Not good for our gut. So right off the bat, sucralose is Splenda. I can right off the bat put that one back. And, and you know what? Because they're putting that in there, I'm probably not even going to look at the rest of theirs. What about that's calorie-free? Calorie free? I wonder it's what like, it's made of if it's calorie free. It's like magic maybe, huh? Okay, well, um, let's see. It's got white vinegar and salt and xanthan gum and yeast extract, cellulose gum, natural sour flavors. Wait a minute, these aren't foods. What is that? I Yeah, no, that's all chemicals. We're, we're not gonna put chemicals in our body. That's disgusting. We're, we're trying to eat a salad. And then we're gonna pour chemicals on top. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that idea. Um, this one here though says no fructose corn syrup. So, huh, that's good. So look at that, it kind of looks healthy, right? With the strawberries on top, it's gluten-free. So let's see what's in it. Um, oh wait, sugar is our second ingredient. There's seven grams of sugar in two tablespoons of this. So it kind of looks healthy and all the ingredients look pretty good except that's like taking sugar and sprinkling it on top of my salad. I don't like that idea either, do you? No. <laughs> how about these? These look great. Um, I like avocados, let's try that one. Okay. Delicious and ripe avocados. Honey mustard, I always tell my clients to use avocados on their salad dressing. Um, so two tablespoons are 150 calories. I don't know, uh, that's a lot of calories for salad dressing. Uh, all the ingredients so far up to here are natural and then I get honey, sugar, white vinegar. These are all natural. They're things I can pronounce or things I understand. So here's the deal with this one. I, I like it because it's all natural and it's all things I can pronounce. I don't like it because it does have seven grams of sugar and I don't really want 150 calories on my salad. I'm eating a salad for lunch, you know, to have healthy things on it to get nutrition. This isn't gonna give me any nutrition. So let's just keep going and see what else we can find here. I don't even look at many of these brands because I know they're gonna have a lot of stuff in them. Let's try one more. Here's a Kroger's private selection of white balsamic and honey. It's a dressing or a marinade. <laughs> so two tablespoons is 130 calories three grams of sugar so that's less it's still high calorie but it's a lot less sugar and let's see canola oil now right there off the bat if something says canola oil that's a soy product okay if it didn't have that soy i would have been fine with it but unfortunately all of these they all start with canola oil so this is this isn't really going to be my favorite brand i think we'll have to go take a look in the health food section to see what we can find for salad dressings I love the Annie's, shiitake, sesame. A lot of these are gonna be gluten-free. Um, I love this one here. This is a miso ginger by Organoville. And this is gluten-free. So this is great if you're doing my detox plan. Two tablespoons are only 70 calories and very low sugar. So one gram of sugar. So one gram of carb too. So this is really a nice choice for a dressing. Try to stay away from the, your traditional aisle for dressings and condiments um, and make sure you're reading your labels. I use the Bragg liquid aminos or a coconut amino in a lot of my recipes. This is an alternative to soy sauce because soy again, not only a GMO food, but sometimes people are trying to get gluten out of their diet and the traditional soy sauce is going to have gluten. So. This is a great option for your cooking um, and seasoning things up. You'll see it a lot in my recipes. And this is where you find it, in the health food section. But I'm gonna need just a little more of this good stuff. Thanks for joining me today to talk about condiments and I look forward to seeing you again. Where we go.